What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to amaze you guys. Something that is occurring under your vehicle's hood. You're driving 80, 90 miles per hour. You don't even know what's going on under that hood. We're going to learn today about the blow-by of an engine. Big bang, okay? There's something happening inside your engine. So every time the engine is turning, it has a cycle. So every engine has four cycles. The first cycle is the intake cycle. So the engine, the, this is a piston here. So this valves open and close. That's why we have timing. Certain time it has to open and close up. So engine tech sucks in air with the gasoline. That would be a downward stroke. Then coming back up is called a compression stroke. It's going to come back up. That's when the walls are going to be closed, perfectly timed. It's going to suck in air and gas. Then this next stroke will be the compression stroke. So this thing is going to go up. It's going to squeeze that gas and everything together. And that's when the timing occurs to give it a spark, arc, bam, boom, explosion, the big bang. This thing is happening thousands of thousands. Look at your RPM. If you do now, 1000 RPM or 3000 RPM or 2000 RPM. If you got a V6 engine, multiply that by 6 and probably beyond that, brrr, big bang is happening in there. You have no clue what's happening in there. But how can it handle all that? Okay. That's where engineers come handy. Anyways, once it explodes, boom, there's a blow by. If you can see right here, I have it drawn right here. A little bit of a red spot over here. So all that pressure in there wants to escape, but it, it can't escape. That's why this will, the piston will be forced down and the crankshaft will turn. If you have a six cylinder, you have six uh, pistons. So it's like a bike pedal, bam, 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 bam. So these are the rings here. So you got the piston rings inside there. Piston rings are common. Um, I mean, not common, I mean, they do well that. That's what holds the pressure in there. So there's a blow-by happening. So this is what the blow-by look like. And the blow-by is happening and bam, there's a pressure build up down here. So much pressure, we have no idea. Where is this pressure? You got oil over here. You have oil down here, I wrote down oil over here. So all that cycling, all those uh, combustions, you have that blow-by. That's what's called a blow-by. How do you avoid that blow-by? You don't. You don't need to. There's no solution. There's no fix. Things will just blow up. Some of that pressure needs to escape. Probably uh, 1% out of the every uh, every combustion, maybe a half a percent escapes, which is normal. But if you have a six-cylinder, eight-cylinder, all that pressure, it's going to balloon up in there. It's going to blow up. It's going to shoot out the oil and everything. Okay, let's, let's, let's put that thought on hold. The pressure pressures in there engineers came up with something something that I've been mentioning to you guys a lot of you guys watch my videos there's one little piece that's very important because of this blow by and that's gonna be my next video but I'm gonna introduce you that piece and I'm gonna tell you how costly how expensive it can cost to repair that piece and how often you should re replace that piece uh, uh, if you don't, it can cost you probably a hundred times more than the cost of that repair or replace of that piece. Anyways, all this pressure is building up. So let's continue. We, we're down to a uh, power stroke. This is the power stroke. So it goes up, explosion happens, the piston comes on, turns the crank. Now there's, a, there's all this burnt fume, smoke is in there. What happens? Let's say this is the intake and uh, this is the exhaust. So what happens here, let me switch up my markers. Now it's gonna, this valve has to open according to the time and it's gonna shoot up all this black smoke through here. We're gonna have a big cloud here through the muffler. It's gonna go out the muffler. Now said, what about this pressure? What is this pressure gonna do? It's gonna blow your seals. You're gonna have leaks here. It's gonna blow your seals. You're gonna have leaks here. How much can it take? Okay, there's other seals that are going to fail. So, that's the problem there. 
the blow by. Now you understood what blow by is. It's, it's not, I don't even pay attention to this blow by thing. So it's not something that you would keep back, back in your mind. But when I get an oil pan uh, leaking, minor leakage, small little leakages here and there, wild cover is leaking. Okay, so this pressure needs to go somewhere. Where does it go? This is a PCV valve. This is the magic. That pressure is escaping with this, okay? So, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for understanding what blow-by is. There's, you don't need to fix this. This is normal. Blow-by is going to happen. It's always going to happen. There's going to be pressure inside your crankcase here. This is called the crankcase over here. So, all the blow-by is going to go into the crankcase, which is normal. But, very important. We're going to talk about this PCV valve on the next video. And, um, how does it... Eliminate that blow by and uh, function of this little guy. Very important piece, okay? Very important. Thank you for watching, guys. See you on the next video on this PCB valve. I'll do another amazing um, drawing just like this one. Learn it from Picasso. Anyway, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. See you guys soon.